So we're talking about herniated discs today. Doctor, I'd like you to go to our 3D image wall if possible. Sure. And we're going to show you, what camera am I on? There we go. What is a herniated disc? Doctor, kind of explain that little redness and what we're looking at. Absolutely. This is a great graphic. So you could see that this is a cross section. We are looking at the patient as if we cut the patient as a loaf of bread. And we are looking from the top down. So this would be the front of the patient. Imagine this person is laying on their belly. The back is up here. The head is somewhere over here. So bottom line is that you're looking at the cross section of the disc. And what's right behind the disc, all these, uh, all these wires, that's the nerves. So when a disc protrudes out, which frequently happens right over to the side behind this thick posterior ligament. What's all this? This is the nerve. So as the second the disc comes out of its home and it starts putting pressure on the nerve, that patient is going to start feeling pain going down their leg. And if this is a disc in the neck, this would cause pain going down the arm. And doctor, where on the spine are you most likely to get a herniated disc? Is there a certain area? It could be anywhere. It's true. No, it can be anywhere, but what's common is common. So in the cervical spine, usually it's C5, 6, C6, 7, so kind of the middle of the neck. And in the lower back, the discs that are herniated the most are the ones that are all the way at the bottom. So you frequently hear L45 or L5S1 is the most common cause.